All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahar, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutes to the brothers teaching us truth to the hopeful elect. Right, um, just real quick, uh, video. Uh, basically, uh, it's just a response, man, um, to this uh, this clip that I've seen posted on GR GRM Daily. Right, and uh, it's just more folly, more wickedness. All right, now, you know, to some people... They would see it as just a, you know, a bit of, of fun or whatever. But really, it's foolishness, man. Right? And really, it's, it's on the side of wickedness. Right? Because what you have prevalent and happening a lot in this wicked kingdom is the acts, the wicked acts of bestiality. Right? Sexual act, uh, acts with animals and, and humans. Man, women... You know, all types of, of of confusion and wickedness, man. And you know what? It's not something to be joked or laughed or con condoned. All right, so I'm going to just play this clip and let you all keep see, man. See, see what she just said? She said that she has no problem with him doing that all, all night. <laughs> she, hey, man. So, yeah, that was the dude, uh, uh, Dutch Avelli, right? that rapper here in the UK. That was his dog, right? And uh, they just uploaded that clip on that channel um, of, of that, right? And then you've seen it now. Some people would say, ah, that's just a joke. That's just a bit of fun. That's not. They didn't do nothing, did it? But, hey, the scripture says, man... To abstain from the, all appearances of evil, all right. You shouldn't be, because really that's just it, it's it's foolishness, all right. And you know we have laws on these type of things. Now, the Israelites, which are the you know the twelve tribes of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our scattered seed, all right. There was a time when we wouldn't condone even an uh, an idea of any or any of that. But now, be through being in this kingdom, following after the ways of the wicked Esau, eh, our people have completely come to a low estate, man, and, and become so low, right, that they're indulging in wickedness and really have no image of righteousness, you know, that they that they hold, man, you know, that they want to, all right? But we have laws on these things, man. This is Leviticus 20 and 15. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death. And ye shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, when you saw in that video, right, hey, Dutch Valley, he was, you know, laughing and joking, saying, yeah, yeah, get that shower. Is, you know, basically, you know, just fooling, man. I right, just making a fool of himself. Encouraging the dog with his uh, erect, uh, you know, the dog's all erect and, and, and dry humping, you know, this woman's leg, <laughs> you know, sniffing all in her crutch, touching and rubbing all up. Like, that's, that's man, that is the next level of, of wickedness, all right? Now, when your mind is open to the truth, right, it becomes 100% clear, right? But to those people that are blind, they're going to see it as, oh, there's nothing wrong with that, but they're wrong. Right, according to the scriptures and the judgment in the sight of the heavenly father, the judgment is death. All right, the woman, the man, and the beast. All right, the animal is supposed to be put to death also because the animal has got wicked spirits on him to try and do and engage in sexual activities with man or woman. All right, whoever. All right, and that's the judgment that they've put upon themselves, man. All right, because this is righteous. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, and verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. So, what does it mean, folly? Folly is foolishness, 
and people uphold it. They think foolishness, oh, it's just a bit of fun and do anything just in the name of, of fun. But it's foolish, right? It's not wisdom. And it's, it's the appearance of evil. But people will exalt that in the name of, of fun and games, right? And meanwhile, despise the poor uh, wise man. All right. So that's why this whole wicked kingdom is going to be destroyed. You know, ultimately, soon we see the end because everything's upside down and the mind of these people are gone. Their brains, they are, man, they're just meat puppets for, for, for Satan, man. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. I am woe is old English and it, it means destruction. Right. It means sorrow. All right. Death. So woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. People are calling what's righteous, which the scriptures and the word is what is to be held true. And they will call that bad. They will call that evil. All right. But call what they want to do and, and acts like this. No, that's fine. And that's good. Right. So, hey, they're going to receive a judgment of the Lord and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter and heart. Things that just is is unwise, they'll try and push it and put it in in the in the view of being wise and being good, right? But really, it's it's a bit of thing, right? LGBT, a different um, lifestyle, you know, all that abomination and all of those confusions out there, right? That's what people are are calling good and wise and upholding. So that's why the Lord is going to bring World War Three and the nuclear missiles, according to the scriptures. All right. The Lord said he was going to destroy this, this kingdom with fire. All right. And that's ultimately why. All right. Proverbs. All right. Two scriptures and I'm going to close this out. Not too long, man. You know, but just I uh, had to respond to this, man, through the spirit. This is Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. All right. So you're trying to say. No, what they're doing is right. What they're doing is fine. They can do what they want. In the sight of the Lord, you're an abomination, right? Because you would rather put down the poor wise man and the truth and the right words, righteousness of, these, of the Bible and the words, you'll rather despise that, right? So in the sight of the Lord, all right, you're wicked. You're an abomination and you're going to be put down, man, all right? In these end days when this destruction comes, right, you're going to share... Your part in that and go down. All right, last scripture, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. That's talking about nuclear holocaust, all right? Extinction level event, all right? World War Three. these last days, nuclear missiles with the intense heat. That's what's coming, all right? And all the proud, yeah, all those proud people think that they know it all, what they know is best and they don't want to hear the word of the Lord, all right? These heathens, the wicked Esau, two thirds of our people that follow after the ways and customs and behaviors of Esau, the devil. This is going to be their judgment. It says, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. You get stubble after you have a fire, right? When you have great fires and all that's left that's burnt to the left is stubble. That's all that's left. And that day shall that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right, because America, America being Babylon, the land of confusion is going to be nothing left. Right, and the lands, the countries where get hit with missiles, also, that's going to be their judgment. The people, they're going to be burned alive by the Lord. All right, the, the everything's going to melt. It's going to be that great fiery judgment before the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites is on the earth and ruled in righteousness forever. Right, and that's what we hasten for, man. So, with that, I'll end it there. All praises to Yahweh, Shimia, Shai, and Jake out there, man, our people. Now's the time to repent from your wicked ways, man. All right, return unto the Lord through this truth. All right, we're in the end of days and the time is short. So with that, to the hopeful election of one.